Hello Chevy Volt community. So I wanted to put this video up because this is a problem that happens a lot on this particular engine, but nobody seems to post anything about this particular vehicle. So this is a 2013 Volt. It has about 120,000 miles on it. <clears throat> and I've been driving this thing for a month and a half. This is a newish to me car and it runs great but it will not pass emissions. It will not set ready for oxygen sensors or catalyst. And it's been driving me absolutely nuts because as you can see, there's no check engine lights. It won't cause any problems. I've been driving it on the engine. I put about almost five tanks of fuel through it in that time period and it just won't go ready. So what I found with this was the valve cover on this particular engine class is horrendously problematic. Um, there's part of the PCV, the positive crank ventilation system, that starts letting air into the valve, the valve train, and that causes it to run slightly lean. So I actually had to take this car to the dealer to figure this out, which I kind of gave up by doing that in a way, but I've got a scan gauge here. I have not actually looked at this, but they said that the fuel trims are running really lean. So I programmed this. This top one is the short-term fuel, and the bottom one is the long-term fuel. So... I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood here. So that starts the engine. So let's just see, from a cold start, let's see what the fuel trims end up being on here. So we're showing zero and one just because it's cold. Okay, there we go. Okay, short-term fuel trim just jumped up to 14. Um, we'll see what happens once it starts to rev up here a little bit. That should be less than 10 from what I've read and if you see I mean the extremes of this number seem to be around 25 and there should be not a huge delta between the long term and the short term okay I was expecting it to be a little bit more by now we'll let it get a little bit warm here first and see so that's my water temperature down the bottom left Anyway, while this is warming up, I'm just going to go ahead and jump out of the car here. <clears throat> Sorry about the shakiness. So I've already taken the engine cover off. Okay, so this is with the engine cover off. This whole thing right here is the valve cover that covers up your valve train. This right here is part of the crank ventilation system. It's integrated into the valve cover, it's not removable. This back here is the actual PCV valve. That's not the problem, it's this. And if you hear it, you hear a little hissing. And the way you can tell is if you just stick your finger over this, it's sucking in air. And when I do that, that hissing goes away. And so when I do that, the engine's gonna run fine, but this should not allow air into the engine. And that's gonna end up wearing the engine also, probably, because you're probably gonna get a little bit of dust in there anyway, so I'm definitely changing the oil after this. So again, listen. So that's what's causing that fuel trim to get all screwy. So if you open your hood and you hear that hiss, that's a huge indication. They've updated this part several times. The thing is, I took this to the dealer, they wanted $500 to fix this. Now, I took the engine cover off, all these little uh, E10 star bolts around here, that's all you really have to take off. You have to take some of this wire harness out of the way. This is not a difficult job. <clears throat> so over here, this is a brand new, slightly updated version of that engine cover. And this is again, this is used on the Sonic, the Trax, there's a Buick model, I believe. Um, I'll even show here. Oh, there it is. There's the part number for this. Made in Poland, strangely. Now, this is not very difficult to do. I'm not going to do a whole video on how to replace this because there's plenty of videos for the the other vehicles that use this, how to replace it. It's very, very similar. Um, this is a non-turbo iteration of this engine. But it's, it's all the same part here. Let's see what's happening now that this is warmed up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Two and six, so that's actually not as bad as I was expecting. Oh, negative two, negative two to six, okay. Oh, there's a negative here I saw. So there's a spread of eight between, oh, negative four, here we go. This is the problem. 
so it's trying to compensate for the air fuel mixture as read by the oxygen sensors down the exhaust system. Uh, from what I've read, this shouldn't be much more than a delta of eight between your short and long term on this. So I think that's what's made this car unhappy. So the other thing I've got in here, um, so you can go on this gauge, I'm trying to do this one handed. If you hit scan, so as of right now, this is weird. It says no codes found and ready. And if I go here to more, oh, it's just one free. Okay, the pending code is new. I did not have that before. So I had a P0101. I'm guessing that has something to do with the air fuel. So I'm probably gonna have to clear that. Is there another one? That's it, okay. So this is the weird thing. If I hit scan, it'll say ready. This this means it's ready for emissions. All the monitors have been set. I hit it again. Now it says not ready. So that's the weird thing. I've never had a car tell me ready, 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 not ready. And usually I have to do that about 10 times. Um, the other thing with this that I found, they have a way um, called commands here. You basically send this thing 0101 that sends back an inquiry. Okay, so it worked this time. Basically, these two numbers right here, this two and one, they have a chart that says, here's what's not ready in emissions on this car. So two one is the, well, it means oxygen sensor and catalyst. So it's still telling me the same thing. Oxygen sensor and catalyst are not ready. I want this to be zero, zero, ideally once this is ready to pass emissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that engine cover and I will know what this does.